Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, today we're going to talk about HomeBot. Um, I've done this training before, but I know a lot of people have asked me for a training. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, there's always things for updating. So I'm like, let's just do it again. Um, because I really love HomeBot. Uh, how many of you use HomeBot in your business right now? A few. Okay. So a few of you use HomeBot. All right. So I'm going to, a lot of this is like why, what it is. Does everybody know what HomeBot is? Let me kind of figure out where we're at here. Does everybody know what it is? Okay, cool. So we're going to start a little bit with like why you need it in your business. And then I'm going to tell you how I use it. Um, because HomeBot is, uh, it's kind of like a one-stop shop for your seller leads. I love it. Uh, HomeBot helps me convert lots of nur lots of people that we're nurturing. Uh, it's a nurturing tool. I don't necessarily think HomeBot is a lead generation tool. So I think that's the one thing that I like to make very clear. HomeBot is... you People do use it for lead generation. I do not. I found that it's more effective when it's used for lead conversion and lead nurture. So if you're getting those leads in the pipeline, you're getting those seller leads, whether you're doing street text ads, whatever ads you're doing, and you're getting those seller leads, the number one thing is, what do you do next, right? People ask that all the time. I'm in the street text platform, and I see people ask that question all the time. What do I do now that I have a lead? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what you do with your seller leads. Um, because HomeBot, like, it just, it's it's awesome. So let's go through here, and we'll take a look, and then I'll show you my a piece of HomeBot and what that looks like. Um, so essentially like you, you know, this, you know, if you know what it is, you know, it's a market software update for real estate agents and lenders. It is the best possible platform for delivering valuable content to past clients. Okay. I love it for past clients. I also love it for lead nurtures. Um, you know, HomeBot is going to give your people an estimated home value every month, right? How many people that you know of check Zillow or check Redfin? all the time to know what the home is worth. All the time, all the freaking time. They're always checking it, right? And how many of those people are people that you've been talking to on the phone? You're calling a lead and they're like, oh, I just looked at Zillow and my home value is $1,500,000. And you're like, mm, that's his estimate. But you don't, you know, you don't really wanna like downplay Zillow, right? Because Zillow has put a ton of money into making people believe they are the experts in home value. So you don't want to downplay that because you're trying to like basically combat someone's already positive belief, right? So I don't necessarily recommend saying, well, that's wrong. This is blah, blah, blah. I educate on how the Zillow algorithm works as much as I know about it. But then I say, hey, you know what? I actually have a tool that could be a little bit different for you. Why don't you give it a try? Right. Because you're going to get people to get, get you're going to have people who want to look at their home value all the time. I like looking at my home value. So I'm set up for a home bot because I'm like, ooh, what does it say? It's kind of like that fun little like every month. Ooh, I got more equity today. Or ooh, my home price went down. My home value went down. Right. So it's a cool way to stay in front of people um, on a regular basis, um, almost passively. Um, okay. So pros and cons. I don't have a lot of cons to be honest with you. I have more pros than I do cons. <laughs> if anyone can think of other cons, I'm sure we'll probably come up with some, but I like that it has a pretty good AVM and a pretty good equity estimate. Uh, they use, what is it? Red, is it black, black rock data is how they, what they use, I think. Um, but anyway, it's, it's pretty good. And the other thing is like, you can actually adjust a home value. So if you see something's wrong or someone else sees something's wrong, you can actually adjust it, which makes it pretty awesome. Um, you, it's really easy to use, super easy for both you and for the consumer. Like it's one of the easiest pieces of technology I've ever had to learn. Um, and I, I know people who are probably not very tech savvy who can probably figure out HomeBot. So it's really, really, really easy. Um, if you have a lender co-marketing with it, uh, your lender, uh, and maybe pay for it for you. Um, but also, um, the lender with the lender co-sponsor, you can actually add video and I love video. 
right? You know, I love video. So Homebot, the reason I love it so much is because I have like, I think there's 15 or 20 videos throughout Homebot that people are seeing my face all the time. And it's kind of one of those things where the videos are a little, they're, they're semi, they're semi generic that you don't have to change them every single month, but you want to change them probably one, probably once a season. So I change mine about once every, like in the winter. And then I have to change them right now because it's about springtime. So I'm moving into a different market. Um, so that's the cool part. So the, those are the pros and cons of HomeBot. Uh, the, the kind of the downside to me is that there's not very many integrations. Like it doesn't integrate with my CRM and I don't like that. So it's sometimes it's a little bit manual. Like we have to, you know, get an email and then we have to go make the update in our CRM that they were in HomeBot, la, la, la. But you can set up Zapier. So um, they, they do have that ability. And it's not as like image heavy as like some other, um, some other types of marketing. Adrian. Yeah, the only thing I wanted to mention regarding video, what I have done with my lender is I interview him twice a month. And that's the video that I put on HomeBot, which talks about where are we in mortgages, what's happening in the market, what are the expectations for the rest of the year. So that way you can do it on a regular basis and it creates expectations from your sellers uh, looking forward to that information. Yeah, I can show you how I use it too, because that's that's really good. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of different ways you can use video in Homebot. Um, so that's a really good one, Adrian. I like that. Um, the other thing that's really that I probably should have put on here as a pro about Homebot is uh you guys just look at the price. $25 a month for 500 people. That's insane. What other what other system do you have that's 25 bucks a month that you can you can lead um five? You can you can nurture 500 people. I don't know. Homebot is it. Um, Carol is asking, did you say a lender sponsor is required to access video within Homebot? Yes, it is. You must have a lender sponsor in order to have video. So it's really important uh, to find a lender. And that's always... We'll go into like FAQs here in a minute um, because like those are the things that people always want to know is what do I do? How do I find a lender? Um... Okay, so there's a few reasons why you need it. And I'm going to show you my HomeBot here in just a minute. But mostly it's because HomeBot delivers personalized, actionable insights with your branding, your face, your message to your people. So unlike Zillow and Redfin, right? Unlike those places, every time someone's going in there, they're saying Zillow, Redfin, Zillow, Redfin, Zillow, Redfin. And we all know Redfin is a, is a broker. They're active in my, I'm in Seattle. So Redfin is very, they're, they're a big player here. So every time someone, every time someone that I know is going to the Redfin site, it's taking away from me, right? So I want them to see me. And so that's why you need HomeBot because you want to be able to deliver something that people want. People want their home value. They want to know what's happening in the market. Even if they're not looking to buy or sell today, they want to know. Um, so that's why you need it. So I'm going to go and show you um, a couple of like ways that I use HomeBot in my business. Um, because I know that, um, again, what has like Adrian just gave a different way that she uses it, but I know everyone's got a kind of a different, a different size or a different way. Um, okay. So, so this is basically what HomeBot looks like. Okay. So if you have HomeBot, you know this. I don't know what I just did there. You don't want to see my... You all don't want to see my bank account. <laughs> so there we go. Um, uh, so this is basically what HomeBot looks like. And I'm going to show you how we have it set up. The first thing that I love is look at this. A 63% open rate. I only have 206... I have 260 people in here. 63% open rate. That's pretty good. How many of you have an open rate of 63% on any other email? That's a really high email open rate. I think that like open rate, like max, like average is like 16, 17%. So 63% is insane. Of that 63%, 25% of those people actually went in and dug in further than just opening up the email and kind of looking at that digest. So here's what I do. Every Monday is my home bot day. Okay, so I, I, I dedicate two hours a day to prospecting. And I don't always want to call the uh, people who are just in my database who've been sitting there forever, right? I want to call those people who actually know me because the reality is those conversations are so much more fun to have. I like talking to people who know who I am, basically, okay? So the reason why, if they're in HomeBot, they didn't just randomly end in here. Like, you don't just like, you can, but 
I wouldn't recommend it. HomeBot doesn't actually like it. You don't just go out and say, hey, come jump into my HomeBot with a QR code. That's not really the way HomeBot is supposed to be used from HomeBot themselves. Because I know for a fact, because when I tried to set up Zapier, they came to me and they were like, how are you getting people into HomeBot? And I said, well, you know, I told them all the ways I generate leads. And they're like, well, if you're generating cold leads to put them into HomeBot, we don't want that. And they'll actually shut your account down. So they don't want you actually using HomeBot to generate cold leads. Okay, I'm just like putting that out there. Now, the way I do it though, is let's say, for example, I'm running a street text ad and someone comes in and they want a home value. Okay, I, I, I let them know in my street text follow-up campaign on the third day, they get an email that says, hey, by now you should have received HomeBot. And this is what HomeBot is. So they already know they're in there. So your unsubscribe rate goes down. The other people that go into HomeBot are those people who are who I'm talking to. They're coming through a Google ad or wherever they're coming through. Anytime someone requests a home value, they go into HomeBot every single time. And I always tell them what they're getting. Always. So they know, hey, you're going to get this tool called HomeBot. It's a, it's a software that I've invested in in my business. I have found that so many people love it because it does A, B, C, D, E every single month. So HomeBot, like I said, is not a lead generation tool. It is a lead nurture and a lead conversion tool. These are people who already know you, already have face, already under, already have some semi-trust in who you are, okay? Um, so we go through, I go through every Monday and I look at all the people that are on here. I'm like, I just looked this morning. I'm like, oh, there's someone here I haven't called. And I look to see, you know, what have they been doing over the last few days? If some of these are past clients, some of these are leads that I've talked to, people that I've nurtured for a while. And I'm like, oh, there's, there's quite a few people in here. Like someone messaged me. Okay. So, uh, you know, this person here, like viewed, um, they actually went in and set up a buyer search. Uh, one person here actually went in and set up a uh, uh, viewed selling signals. So of course, I'm going to call that person, which is pretty cool because you can see that these people, what you can see, you can track their activity. You can see what they're doing, right? And that's pretty cool. Like you don't really get to see that when you're when someone's just going to any other website. You're actually able to see. So my conversation is a really, it's a totally different conversation. It's not a hey, you requested your home value. It's a, hey, David, this is Linnea Carver. Oh, hey, Linnea. Um, I noticed that you went into HomeBot and you were checking out at some things and some things about your, your house. You know, is there something I can help with? Easy, easy, easy conversation. Super easy. And then, so that's what I do every Monday is I go through and I look and see who's been the most active and I reach out to them and I find out what they were looking at. So you can, you can really dig in and see, I mean, yes, I have some sellers, past clients. I don't know who this person is. This person just uh, tuned their value. So I could go in and look at this person and say, oh, what did they, what, what did they think their home is actually worth? Right. And then I can do, uh, I can go in and I can send a message through um, HomeBot to say, hey, Kevin, I noticed you were tuning your home's, home's value. Here's what I noticed. Here's something for you. And I can do a CMA for them. Okay. Um, when it comes to video, this is where the uh, lender is really, really important because you can get a lot of your face right through here. So every single time someone clicks into a digest into HomeBot, they're going to see my face. They're going to see a homeowner intro. This is the intro that I have that introduces people to what HomeBot actually is. So the first time someone gets the HomeBot email, this, e this video pops up and they, they watch it. You can see this is a year ago. This is the last time I did this video was a year ago because this video doesn't change. I could if I want to, but it doesn't change. Um, you can see that there's some videos I need to redo like nine months ago because uh, the market was shifting nine months ago and now we're shifting back. Um, but... You can see that I have all of these videos set up here. Some of them are through BombBomb. Bomb, some of them are through YouTube. And I have my lender on here. Like Adrienne was saying, she interviews her lender. I made my lender come in and actually do a video for us. It's a quick 23 second video. I wrote the script for her. I was like, I need you to record this right now. And she was like, okay. So my lender recorded a video. That's part of, that's part of how the video works. Um, um, but Katrina says, I pay for the plan that has the most options for video. Like, you mean as a lender, Katrina? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of lenders, like, uh, you know, if you work with a lender who's like at a bigger company, like I know Guild Mortgage, for example, which is where Michaela's at, Guild Mortgage pays for it for their lenders. So a lot of lenders, they don't actually pay for it out of pocket. Katrina's different. <laughs> But a lot of lenders don't because their companies pay for it. So, um, you know, for a lender, it's not really like 
for them. They're like, cool, you're going to give me access to your buyers. Cool. Right. So every time someone comes in here and they click on the buyer page, Michaela gets an email and Michaela reaches out to them. So it's like, it's like we, um, we're, we're both working to help convert people. Okay. I was going to say, if you guys are partner with Blender, please, especially if they're not working for a guild mortgage who pays for it, send your, make sure your lender actually gets clients from you because it is expensive. Yeah. 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 You got it. You got to make sure that you got to make sure it's like a partnership, right? It's not a, it's not a, just do this for me. It's a partnership. But when it comes to partnership, make sure if you have a lender that they do video because a lot of lenders won't do video. A lot of lenders like to like to think they do, but a lot of lenders won't. Realtors, we are much more advanced in our ability or want or the want desire to do video than the lending industry is right now. That is changing. So I've noticed a lot more lenders now doing video, which is awesome. But I would say like, if you're going to have a lender sponsor, have them come in here on the things like, you know, she's, we're, she and I are here together on this buyer intro, introducing ourselves as a team. So that way, when people are seeing, seeing the two of us together, it's not, it's not, it's not a weird thing. They're like, Oh, Michaela, Linnea, Michaela, Linnea. Right. So Judith is asking, how do they get these videos? Okay. Let me show you. So I'm going to pull up my own page here. So you can look at my house. So I don't show you someone else's data. Okay. 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 Linnea Carver. Here we are. So here's Linnea. So what happens is every month I get an email um, and I, it says, uh, I click here, like the email says click here and it's like the home bot background. It looks almost kind of like this. Click here to check out your home's value. And so I click into the email. Okay. When I come into the email, it looks like this. Um, and you can see this from the back end too, which is awesome. So I come in as a consumer and it looks just like this. The estimated value of your home is 761000 I want to make modifications to it. I can tune my value, right? So I can say, oh, I actually think my home is worth more or worth, more, worth less. And I actually think this is way off for my house. So I'm just going to tune this right now. I'm going to tune it right here. So there's that. Um, but what happens is that uh, then I have to verify as a, as a consumer, I have to verify what my house actually looks like, right? That's four bedrooms. That's actually, actually a, technically a three bedroom house. But um, anyway, so there's that. So there's my new home value. Then I can see ultimately the updated report. What happens here is, you know, there's a video right here. 98391 is in demand and picking up. So as a consumer, I can go in and I can see a video. And the video is just like this. It's really Selling simple. A high demand market could be a great way to maximize your wealth. A high demand market means you're probably going to sell your home faster and for more money. Maybe that money could be used to downsize and pocket some extra cash. As with most investments, the ideal is usually to buy low and sell high. But this only works if you have a strong plan for your next steps. If you have questions, I'm always happy to help. It's a super easy video. It's just value value based. It's not a it's not a call to action video. It's a hey, you got questions? Here's what I'm gonna. What, here's how I can help you. There's other things you can do. Like at EXP, we have Express Offers. I'm Express Offer certified, so I can come in and I can say, hey, you want to get a cash offer on your house? This is how it's gonna work. So basically, every time someone clicks into a section of Homebot, they're seeing my face. Probably need to change it just because I don't wear my hair like that much anymore. So <laughs> probably need to change all these for that reason. Um, but you know, then it gives a, a full, a full comprehensive uh, estimate. Like you know, there's 120 homes on in the market, probably in my zip code, which I I don't know where this is coming from. But they're selling in around 87 days. And when they're saying selling, that's from the time it lists to the time it closes. By the way, so it's not like you know, time list to pend. It's list to close. Um, and then it tells it tells me, hey, this is the average house in your area. Yeah, it's about that's about right. I'm in Bonnie Lake. That's pretty normal. And then it'll tell me, hey, there's some more, um, you know, there's some really good reasons why you might want to consider selling your house right now. Right. So I'm going to say, oh, my market's in demand. Competition is high. Inventory is low. Those are good reasons. And you can go to more details on this. And then there's a video from me that says don't sell. Right. So there, you can see how like all of these videos that I input in here, you put them in one spot and HomeBot automatically triggers them to where you want them to go. And anytime someone clicks on anything in here, it's just going to give them even more, more information. Like, hey, you want to sell now, you know, you could be at, you know, 730,000. Uh, but if you sell in 10 years, you could earn 1.4 million, which, whoa, that'd be crazy if this house is worth a million in 10 years. But 
<laughs> yeah, that's what the real estate market does, right? Everyone probably thinks that at some point. Um, so that is essentially how the video works. The other thing that's pretty cool about it is that actually, if you if you if you get it connected to your MLS, okay, you can actually go in and it can they can help they can shop for homes on here. So someone can come in and look at listings that are nearby. So I can say, oh, this is a comparable sale. So this is essentially doing a CMA for me. Right, it's pulling comps for me. Um, it's le- it's letting them see this this listing's under contract. This is similar based on the statistics you gave me or the the stats you gave me about your house. This is a similar home, and this is what I think. Right. So if they wanted to, they could say, "Hey, I want to I want to email Linnea. I actually want to go see this house. I'm curious." So it's pretty cool. This this whole thing is pretty cool. Um. So Donna is asking, does the lender have access to your contacts in HomeBot? They only have access to the buyers in HomeBot. They do not have access to the sellers. So, um, you know, you want to make sure like if you're having a lender partner with you, that you encourage people to use the buyer feature? You can you can show them, you can create a video like Adrian, one of your videos that you could do for with your lender partner is you could do like a little screen share of you walking through how to actually do the buyer side of HomeBot, which is pretty cool. Um, great idea. Great idea. Yeah, because like the buyer side. So this is this is basically what it looks like on the buyer side. It's like an MLS search. Um, you know, the, the downside to the buyer side here is that it's not pixeled, right? You you don't you don't really it doesn't tell you on your dashboard exactly what home they looked at, but it does tell you that they looked at them. But it's really really cool because if someone you know if they want a CMA and you don't have time to do a CMA because let's be real, a CMA is a lot of work. It's a lot of time that you're putting into it. But it's, this is a really cool way to go in and just kind of say, hey, as a snapshot, look at the very, I mean, this is, this is just so you guys know, this is totally my neighborhood. $90,000 here. Hold on, hold on. This is totally where I live. We have a $90,000 property up here and a $2.2 million property here. Yes, that is, that is my, that is where I live. Um, so, um, but it's really cool because people can really dive into this and use this as a tool. Um, and if someone signs up, like if if you do, for example, give this out on a um, like a QR code or you try to drive people to it and they do sign up for it, uh, you do get an email that tells you that you just got a new uh, person to come in, a new, a new lead in. Um, Kayla is asking if Katrina does mortgages in Washington. Did you answer that one, Katrina? I did. I don't right now, but I think I'm about to switch over to Nexo with Tracy Schmidt, and then I will be. There you go. What do you see on the dashboard? Isabel's asking, what do you see on the dashboard to determine to send them a CMA? So uh, a few things. Um, let's say I'm going back here. I'm probably going to go back to, back home here. So now you might see Linnea pop up at the top. Probably will here. It'll tell you, like, uh, you know, it'll tell you um, that the person requested a CMA. Like, I'll look here, like, this person viewed their home's market. So I'll actually take, like, he's actually looking at their selling potential and he's done it twice over the last 30 days. So that's a pretty strong sign that I need to call this person, right? So that's part of the thing. The other thing is, uh, uh, Homebot will actually give you, um, if you go into manage, It'll give you needs CMA. So it'll pop up all those people like Linnea needs a CMA. So you can see here, like all these people have requested a CMA at some point. So obviously Linnea is the most recent one. So I'll work on hers first. Um, but that's how, that's essentially how I, I determined to send them a CMA. The other thing though, is that because I'm going through HomeBot every Monday and I'm looking at like what the activity is, I don't necessarily... Want them, I don't necessarily wait for them to request a CMA. It's really easy to just send a quick video to somebody. Uh, and so all you do, send a quick video to say, hey, Linnea, I saw that you were looking at your, um, you can go here and then it's up here in the corner, right here, see where it says record? You can easily just send a quick video to say, hey, Linnea, I noticed that you were looking at your home value are there any questions I can answer for you? Or, hey, Linnea, I noticed you were looking at your home value. You might want to know this about your area. Let me know if I can help, right? So you can easily just hit record and send a, send a video. You can record your screen so you can walk them through what you're looking at and how to use the tool. There's a lot of cool, a lot of cool ways that you can do this. Um, okay, hold on, let me see. There's a couple other questions here. 
how do I connect it to the MLS? So you have to have the buy, go to the buyer side. And it's been a while, Adrian, it's been a while. So let me see if I can, let me see if I can remember. Uh, but when you, you have to set it up as the buyer. Um, yeah, I got to, I got to remember. You think you have to do it in setting. Uh, what I'll do, Adrian, is let me figure out if I can remember how to do it. And I'll do like a separate video and like put that and share that with you. Okay. Just because I can't. Why don't you? Why why haven't you um, uploaded buyers? Say that one more time. Sorry. Why haven't you uploaded buyers? You can upload buyers. Yeah, but I'm looking at yours, and I was just wondering mm. if you get buyers like from the street tax and things like that. Why haven't you uploaded them? I don't. I don't. I haven't really used it for buyers as much. There's not really a reason other than we have other systems that we use for buyers. Okay. So, but I mean, they have really advanced. When I was first, when I first started using Homebot, their buyer side wasn't as advanced as it is today. And that's, it. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. Like they're constantly, like constantly like making an iteration on this. Um, so that's a really good question. Uh, and we'll probably start doing that. But the other thing is here, uh, they actually just added this feature too, where you can get property search leads on here. So you could actually like embed this on your website. You could share it on Facebook. You could do whatever you want. And that'll bring people into that buyer side too. Um, and then- So you can basically link to your website? Yeah, you link it to your website. So what I did on my site is I actually have it down here. So what's your home worth? I just I just uh, put that directly into my website because um, you can put a widget on your page. So it's pretty it's pretty cool how you can do that. But Thank you. great great question about the buyer side. Wendy has her hand raised. Hey yeah, so about the buyers, I'm saying I just add the sellers and they turn themselves into a buyer. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, is like we have I don't know thousands and thousands of buyers. I don't want to pay. $25 every 500 people, you know, for all those buyers. Like we have searches, we could set them up on for free, right? And other campaigns and stuff. So I agree. I agree. But the buyer side is very cool for the people that are buying and selling. So it's it's perfect for them. I love it. That's a good, that's a good point. So thank you, Wendy. I had different ways to think about it. Um, okay. So, Linda, you said that the lender can see if we do have buyers in there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Lender has access to the buyers. So if your seller and that's those are the buyers that I do have in here because I have a few people who will start looking at the buy side. Right. And it'll it'll alert you. You get an email pretty much anytime someone makes it makes any sort of like digging into their home bot. You don't get an email when they open it, but if they if they um, ask you a question or if they set up a search like a buy search, you get an email whenever they do that. Um, so you can see that you can also see on the, on your dashboard, um, who has gone in and set up a buy search. And those are pretty cool because that's, I mean, that phone call is really easy. Pretty much anytime someone makes a change in HomeBot, I'm calling them pretty much any single time. Um, and that phone call is really easy. That's a, Hey, Scott, I saw that you, uh, I saw that you set up a, a buy search. Is there something that I can, is, can I help you narrow this down? Right. And I'm just trying to like convert those people long-term. So Real uh, Homebot is definitely a lead conversion tool. People will be on Homebot that I put in Homebot a year ago, and they'll just now email me and say, "Hey, we're ready to sell our house." I've never freaking ever talked to them on the phone ever, literally ever. But all they see is these monthly emails from me. They see my video. They see me as a market expert, right? And so that's that's what they do. Um. Hold on, Adrian. Let me, let me answer a couple more questions here. Do you come up with your own script or are there templates in Homebot? <laughs> Katrina said, I'm sure she's now using ChatGPT for her scripts. Uh, no, I just have my own script. Uh, I'll probably, I, I don't I don't really change them too much. Uh, ChatGPT is a great way. You definitely could use ChatGPT for the script. But you guys, the cool thing about Homebot is that there's already videos in there. So if you don't have your own videos created yet, Homebot has them in there. Now they're not, they're super generic. They're kind of like the videos you would get from like Keeping Current Matters, you know, but you can literally just take that video and copy that script and then say it yourself. until so your face is saying the same words that Homebot would say. Pretty cool. And I think they actually do have scripts in Homebot for those emails or those videos. Uh, and Jackie said, in order to be connected to the MLS, you have to be connected to a lender. Yes. 
bottom line, I want you to take away from this is HomeBot is cool. Like if you don't have a lender, but really to get the most value, the most bang for your buck, you really want to have a lender. There's so much more functionality when you have a lender. This, I don't necessarily think HomeBot was originally developed for real estate agents just so you know. It was originally developed for lenders as a tool for lenders. And they recently expanded to make it available for real estate agents. So it's going to definitely be favorable for you if the lender is working with you. Um, Adrian. Yes, piggybacking off of what um, Wendy said, um, I'm running a very successful campaign on Street Text for downsizers. And that's why I thought that maybe it would be worth it to put them into HomeBot, mm -hmm. even though they're buyers, because you know that usually there's two ends to that transaction. What you, what's your thoughts on that? Right. So, I mean, the thing is, you're going to add them to HomeBot anyway, right? Because they're a potential seller if you find their address, right? Right. So then they can, you know, explore. When you do your how to use HomeBot, you're going to go through that and you can explore markets here and look for properties here. So okay. that video that you put in there showing how to use HomeBot, they're going to get that immediately. Yeah, I thought of that instead of putting, you know, taking my database and loading all the buyers. I just thought as they come in from street text, just put the new ones in because, you know, it's it can be a double transaction. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying if you don't have their address? No, no, no. If I do, if I do, I've already come in contact uh, with these people and get their address. I think that as buyers, because that's what they are when they're downsizing, right. I put them in HomeBot as buyers. But yeah, no, I think that's ones. a great idea. That's a great I'm idea. Just I'm just saying, I, I don't think that I would take my 56,000 buyers that are in my database and transform them to HomeBot. That's right. You know. Agreed. Agreed. So, okay. But yeah, downsizing for sure, because you, you, you know, they're clicking on that ad because they're probably going to try to downsize. So that would be a good one. Even if they yeah. don't have an address, you can add them as a buyer and then maybe they'll put their address in to right. find out the most value. So yeah, that's a Perfect. great idea. I like Thank that. Thank you. Okay, um, Nina is saying, would you share your scripts for your videos on HomeBot? You can find them in HomeBot. I literally didn't change it. They're literally the same scripts that are in HomeBot. So um, I don't even know if I can find where they are anymore, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, that's oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Linnea, is the MLS automatically uh, integrated or do you have to, is that a setting you have to set up? Uh, I had to set it up. And so what I had told, because Adrian asked the same question. So I'm going to go and... Uh, figure out how I did it and then I'll create a quick video, a screen share video and show you. I can't, I honestly cannot remember because it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. So, but I know it was something I had to set up. I had to enable it. So um, when they tune their value, um, they're okay. Perfect. Yeah. So Cynthia said, when they tune their value, it will email you and let you know and suggest you send a CMA. Yes, it's pretty cool. But you guys, the, the best thing about HomeBot is like, there's so many different ways you can use it. I don't know if you've heard this success story before of the way that I started like really pushing out HomeBot when I first signed up for it is I reached out to five or six or seven of my like ideal clients, like the people I wanted to work with. I want to sell their house. They haven't sold yet, but they will. And my, I was a really easy phone call. It was like called a call a friend of mine, Chris. Hey, Chris, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. Hey, I know because, because I really trust your opinion. I just invested in the software for my business. And I think it's really going to be super valuable for people. I would love if you could test it out and let me know what you think. And he's like, absolutely. So I plugged him into HomeBot. And guess who opens up his HomeBot value every single month? Guess who sent me an email with all the things that he loves about it? All the things that he loves about it every single time. Uh, I called my financial planner. I said, hey, Mike, um, same, basically the same script. Hey, I want to test, test something out. You know, I trust you with my money. So I also want to trust you with, my, with your opinion on something I'm doing for my business. Let me know what you think. Mike sent back this big, long email, a two-page email of all the things he liked. He hated, he did not like that HomeBot has a recommendation to pay off your mortgage when the interest rates are super low. Because he's like, that doesn't make sense to me. He's like, just pay, ride that out, invest that extra money you would be using to pay off your mortgage to in, in something you know, it's a financial planner speak, right? I get it. Um, but Mike now uh, has sent me four people, four of his high net worth clients who are also in home. So it's pretty cool because then I was able to create that kind of like that referral basis without saying it's a referral. I want to offer a service to your clients. That's it. I'm not expecting you to do anything for me. Do you think any of your clients would find this service valuable? And Mike said, absolutely. 
And so he sent me four of his high net worth clients who are in home bot and who open up their digest on a regular basis. And I started conversations with them. So there's a lot of really cool ways to use it that it's just beyond just beyond putting people in it. Like use it as a tool to actually get people to engage with you. That's the best part about HomeBot. It's a really cool way for people to actually want to talk to you. And when you're calling your past clients and putting your past clients in it, you're not saying, hey, who do you know who wants to buy or sell a house? Sell me some business. You know, you're like, hey, this is what I'm doing for you. Um, so those are my 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 tips on HomeBot. Does anyone else have any other questions or things they want to add? Cool. Well, thanks for being here. Um, if you guys do have any questions, you know where to find me. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.